Hi everybody, welcome back to In The Huddle. I'm Jillian Kushner. Sorry I wasn't able to film again last week. I got sick with strep. I know. So I've been all struppy and that's just dandy. So finally feeling like myself again so I can film. Today we're going to talk about Basketball Basics Part 2. We're going to talk about the positions and what they do and who plays what and all that fun stuff. So before you go, please subscribe below and keep watching to find out what everyone does in basketball. Okay, so first of all, I mentioned this in the last video, but there are five players on a basketball team. Five starting spots, there's five positions, and here are the five positions. You have the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and the center. All these people do different things. Like I mentioned in the last video, all of these positions have changed as to what they do. Uh, the game of basketball has changed immensely. Like, you kind of can divide it into, like, two distinct eras and... You know, you can have a center nowadays, compare him to like a great all-time center, and you're like, wow, these people do completely different things. The game has changed, keep that in mind, but we can talk about what these players are supposed to do at these positions and who plays these positions now. So first, let's start with the point guard. I feel like the point guard is a position that just really hasn't changed. The people who play it, kind of like the look of the players has kind of changed. It's usually like, I'm not going to say a smaller player, but... It's, it's not like some massive guy, but you have seen great all-time point guards that are kind of bigger. So point guard, I guess, is smaller nowadays, but what it, a point guard does has stayed the same. They're really the ball handler. They're the passer. They often lead the team in assists and steals, stuff like that. They're little. They're quick. Well, nowadays they're little and quick, but that's just what they do. You know, they're the ones who bring the ball out through midcourt, stuff like that. They're just the ball handler. They're kind of the people controlling the scene, passing the ball, making sure... They find the open man, all that good stuff. Like I just said, they usually lead in assists. A good example of a point guard nowadays is Chris Paul on the LA Clippers. A great point guard. Like I said, he really fits the bill. Little. And by little, he's still like 6'5". No, he's not. He's like 6'3". Obviously huge compared to a normal person, but little in the scheme of basketball, if you'll get what I'm saying. But he's, I mean, he's a fantastic point guard. Definitely going to be a Hall of Famer. The next person we have is the shooting guard. Shooting guard is just, I mean... They're the shooter, usually best from like the three-point area. This position kind of has changed. I don't think the shooting guard is like the strict position anymore. It's really like fluid and can really do whatever you shoot from wherever you want to, wherever you're open. They're just kind of known for great shooters. Um, honestly, the biggest person I can even mention who's a shooting guard is Kobe Bryant. That's a shooting guard. He has really taken that position to a new level. I wouldn't hold every shooting guard to his standard because that's a really high standard to to fit, you know, that he has set the bar a little too high, but he is a shooting guard, can shoot from every position. As we saw in his last few years, he became really strong from the three, beyond the three point arc. So, uh, you know, he's just, I mean, that's what he is. He drives the basket, he can do whatever, he's good in the paint, he's good from two, he's good from three, he's good from wherever. That's a shooting guard. Kobe Bryant is that man, and wow, I really miss watching him play. Wow, I miss that. All right, on to the next one before I get emotional. All right, next we have the small forward. The small forward is honestly like the most versatile position. It's a very, I think this one I would describe as fluid as well. It's really like changing all the time. You can do really whatever from this position. Um, it's just about being versatile. Like if you wanna be a good small forward, you have to be versatile, point blank. They're usually pretty good at like drawing fouls, getting to the line, that type of stuff. That's just what a small forward is good for. But like I said, it's just really about versatility. These guys are usually bigger. Uh, we were talking about the small guys before. You know, it may have small in front of its name, but these guys are usually like 6'6", six, 6'10", six, six, like as big as they get. They're huge. So don't let the small and small forward fool you because these are big guys. And obviously an example of a small forward, also setting the bar pretty high, even though I'm not a fan, LeBron James is a small forward. So if you have ever seen him play, that's what a small forward is. Again, he sets the standard like really high, but he is a small forward by definition. Next we have the power forward. So now we're getting to the big men. So power forward and center, those are like the real, real big men, all right? Those are the guys, they're blocking, they're doing that type of stuff. So that's what a power forward does. They are always down the post, they're doing low blocks, they, I mean, that's, that's the big guys. Like, we're talking about the big, big guys. These are the biggest, the big. Um, those in centers, you know, it's like ranges like 6'8 to like 7 foot. These guys are huge. They're ridiculous. 
So power forwards, guys like uh, LaMarcus Aldridge for my Longhorn fans down the Spurs or uh, Blake Griffin on the Los Angeles Clippers, former Oklahoma Sooner. Those type of guys, really big, really athletic, but I mean, they, I mean they're huge. I think both of those guys are like 6'10", at least. Huge players, they can really dominate, they can block, they can, oh, they can dunk. Blake Griffin can dunk. They are huge, they can really do whatever needs be. They can shoot, obviously they can shoot, but they're really good down the post. They often rack up a lot of fouls. When we start talking about the big men, th these are the guys who are fouling out in games. This is like, it's really hard to stay out of foul trouble when you're a big man like that. So now let's talk about center. Center, another big man. Center is like, that's, that's the tallest player on the court. Usually they really stay down in the post. They play close under the basket, typically getting blocks, trying to stuff guys. That type of stuff they're huge they also draw a lot of fouls they are always in foul trouble center your center's always in foul trouble that's just like how it is but these are the big big guys you know they're usually nowadays the position has changed because back in the day uh you know you had kareem who was a center and this guy you know he scored all these points he was he's a leading scorer he's skinny and tall nowadays centers are tall and like look big they're big i'm not gonna say fat because no one's gonna be fat if you're playing in the nba but they're big they're big built like they could like eat kareem basically is what i'm trying to say so the centers we have nowadays demarcus cousins on the sacramento kings um you have dwight howard my favorite player dwight howard is now playing for the land of hawks that's a center um you had guys like shaq shaq's a center uh well it was a center he's retired obviously but these type of really big guys and like i said kareem was a center Wilt Chamberlain was a center. If you put all these guys next to each other, you'd be like, there's no way they play the same position. But somehow they do that. Position has changed. Honestly, I think that one's changed the most because of the built of the type of guys who plays it. It's become a completely different position. So those are the very basics of each of the positions in basketball. Might be a lot to handle, but I promise that's like the hardest it gets. Next, we're going to talk about like the penalties, which is not fun. No one likes to talk about that. But it's an important part of basketball. you got to talk about the fouls because there's lots of them. And like I said, a lot of these players do get in foul trouble. So we do have to talk about the fouls. So that will be the video next week. And on Thursday, we'll talk about the big games this weekend. And hint, hint, it's the All-Star game. I'm so excited for All-Star weekend. Yes, it's the best weekend of the year in the Super Bowl, of course. But love All-Star weekend. So we'll talk on Thursday about all about All-Star weekend and all of its greatness. And I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.